believe it was only one week ago that I stood in the doorway of my old room. It's just us three girls there, that is, me and my two sisters, living all alone in that cold windowless attic in a small part of London. We were desperate for food, so what was me being ten and the oldest of the lot, I quietly snuck out the door and into the dark street. If only I had realised, I would never see my sisters again. It was late that night when I snuck over Mr Jackson's back fence and into his apple orchard. It didn't seem right there to me that he had a whole orchard of apple trees where me and my sisters went days without a scrap of food. Well, just as I was picking some of those bright, red, juicy apples, I heard a deep, vicious growl. I swiveled around and came face to face with Mr. Jackson's terrifying guard dog. Soon, Mr. Jackson himself stomped up and gripped my arm so hard it turned bright red. You filthy beggar, he scolded me. It'll be straight to Newgate Prison with you and I hope you rot there. Well, don't know if I should be grateful or not, but when I finally came before the judge, he said the prison didn't have space for me. Certainly not for seven years. It'll be on the first ship out to the new colony, he declared sternly. Well, now I'm locked up here, on board those floating prisons they call hulks. Lots of rats. And <laughs> that smell is terrible. I don't know how I shall sleep, but I shall try.